this is going to be an instructional video on how to fit some rain strips, the arcs over doors and things that stop the rain pouring over into the doorway of a um, Parkside Dundas, now just called Parkside Models, and they're now owned by Pico. And it's their XLNER BR insulated body fish fan with the recessed doors uh, diagram 134 and most of them were white when they were built in the 1930s apparently they uh, by LNER they uh, didn't have rain strips and when BR got hold of them after the Second World War what was it, about 1948 I think they decided to improve them by putting better insulation inside recessed doors and sometimes they would add a rain strip or whatever you want to call that arky thing over the top there and then in 1964 some were even painted ice blue but by then they were getting a bit knackered so I'm going to do I've got four models to do this is obviously the first one which I'm quite pleased with and I'm going to paint one of them blue I've already done the art on one on my first video which I filmed from my over my right shoulder which with my right hand basically st stopped anybody seeing what the hell I was doing so I'm now filming it from my left side and these are the, my first attempt at the arcs using some quarter mil by half mil thick uh, flat uh, plastic strip and that's 10 thou by what was it 5 thou isn't it Something like, no, it was it 20 thou? 20 thou by 10 thou. Yeah, that's it. Strip. Now, uh, I will be using this uh, deluxe materials pin flow applicator. This is the um, clever little thing it comes in. It actually comes in one in like this. Can you see? I think you can see like that to keep it uh, secure and. So you can't damage it because it's an easily damaged thing. So take it out. Put that to one side. This is it. This is the actual applicator. That is a glass tube. So you could easily snap that. The end here, that's a protective cover. Is actually... Let me get in focus. It's like a hypodermic needle. See, it gets my fingernail there. So it's got a tiny little hole going through there. Which capillary action sucks the um, it's solvent, not adhesive, out like that and into joints. Now, the actual solvent I use, or the one I prefer, it doesn't evaporate too quickly. And it's a slim bottle, which is good for putting, sucking it up by, you put it inside the bottle like that and it supposedly gets sucked up and fills up the tube. It doesn't always work very well and I have to suck it up in my mouth. And it's a very sweet tasting stuff, it's a bit weird. I don't know if it's dangerous or not, but um, so this is EMA Model Supplies Plasti Weld. It's basically a mech solvent, mech being methyl ether ketone, the same stuff that pl plumbers use to when they use the white plastic pipes. You see a paintbrush and they slap it around and push the pipes together. That's all it is. So it, it welds the uh, plastic together. It's not adhesive. It doesn't gap fill. It relies on the plastic melting and bonding and melting into each other. So, take the top off, leave it there. That is a cardboard holder, so it doesn't fall over because it is very top heavy, well, narrow. But the cardboard also, I've already put the um, some fluid in there in advance because it takes a while to get in there. And I use the cardboard, this type of cardboard, and it acts like blotting paper and makes sure it's working. I'll just give it a, because when you're doing it, it sometimes gets a bit of plastic stuck on the end. And it blocks it up. So you drag it across the cardboard, and it typically it's not working at the minute. Come on, get going. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Do a demonstration, it won't work. I'll leave it in there a minute while I do this bit. Right, now to do the, the rain strips, here's the tiny, tiny little bit of um, plastic card strip. You basically you bend it to fit, but Rather than bending it and then trying to glue it in place, I've come up with an idea. I've already marked the, the high point and the two lower points. The two lower points are two planks out from the edge of the doorway. 
from a, an old photo, one, the only photograph I can find on the internet of one of these vans. So if you type in this, um, the, the details of that kit, you'll probably, it'll, you'll find it probably. Now, you need to make the strip longer than what it is. You need to be a bit, bit wider and then you can hold it and put a little dob of glue in it in the three places and then cut it to length to the marks and then with that you then go around each bit to finish it off so i will cut it over length and oops stuck to my fingers now i know that from other ones i need to do it if you see that just about you can one and three eighths the actual door width is actually about an inch so one and three eighths which is there I use the old, this is an, a genuine original X actor or whatever it is, how you pronounce it, uh, knife from the 19, early 1970s. I don't make them as good as this anymore. With a chisel blade, and you don't need to keep buying new blades of these things. A bit of garnet paper or emery paper, and to sharpen it, you just go one, two, three, four, deburr that side. It's flexible enough to do, and that is now sharp again. And this blade is probably the original one from 1971 or whenever we bought it. Now, to get an even bend on the arc, you need to apply the strip exactly in the middle, not more one side on the other. So that the arcs, are, when it flexes, equal amount each side. So I know that as one and three eighths long, and the halfway point is 11 sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is there, and put a little mark so I can see it. There, a little blue mark, right? And then let's just check this. Um, this thing's working, it's got to work for this demonstration to work. Come on, that working now? Yes, it is good, right? Now, the next brilliant little tool is this thing. There's no make for these things, you just have to know what, what they are and ask for them. It is a pickup tool. Get your great clumsy fingers out of the way. They can't fit, do these tiny little bits like that and hold them in place and glue them. They end up making a mess. So this is a sticky endy buddy thing, and it will just pick that up. Hopefully, so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Picks it up nicely. But all right, now I hold it on the mark in the middle up there, centered. Make sure that's working again. Come on, make sure you work. And just put a little tiny bit of adhesive, not adhesive, solvent there, like that. Hold it there for a few seconds. I'll leave that in there, make sure it doesn't dry up. And hopefully when I let go, it'll stay there. Now, using the sticky buddy thingy, tip thingy. Always make sure it works every time. It keeps locking up. I don't know why. Typical, isn't it? When you're making a video, isn't it? I'm going to have to suck it. Or blow it to get it. Is it working now? It's better. There we go. Right. Hopefully this will work. Right. right. Get hold of the sticky bud. Hold it on the end and arc it round hope you can see that to the and put a little tiny bit of, of, of solvent just short of the mark not on the mark like that and just leave it a second and we'll see if it hopefully that takes it's that easy and let go will it stay there yes it does do the other side bring it round hold it there Make sure it's still working. Yeah. Touch it, just short, just a little amount, like that. Make sure it a few seconds to dry it. Let go. There we go. That wasn't there. Now, cut it to length. Just with this, just a quick plunge down, like that. No, no dragging it. Scratch the roof. So hopefully my hands don't get in the way. You can see it, you can see it. On those blue marks, square, so cut there, dunk, another cut there on this side, about 
Hey, come on. I can do it. I'm out with it. Come on with it. There you go. Alright, that's that out of the way. This is handy too. Electric vacuum cleaner. Right then, get the bits out of the way. Now, what we do now is just draw this around the edge. Let's make sure we get it. Right, support your hand so it doesn't start shaking. Bring it around. A little bit on the end. Make sure it's still working. It does seem to be a bit reluctant for some reason. What's the matter with this? I right, still got need to suck it out. Come on. Not working. Hmm. Around like that. And that's all you do. And that will capillary reaction sucks it underneath there. So that you can't actually see a glue line at all, hardly, unless you see it in the light. Yeah, you get it in the light. I don't know if you can see this in the light. If I move it for it in the light round, you might. I don't know how close I can get with this. You'll see a little shiny line just underneath the white. And that's the adhesive where it's got drawn underneath it. Don't know if you can see that, I've no idea. I can see it this angle. I don't know what you can see at that angle. But anyway, that's how it works, and it's that easy. Excellent tool. Okay, thank you for your watching. Put it back. I'll do the other one with that later on.